Um, my name is Riley Evans. This is Alex Fuller. This is Jalen Lewis, and that's Miranda Gott. Uh, we all just want to thank you for being here today because we know y'all have a lot more that y'all could be doing right now, but instead you're here with us. Um, this is our tornado recovery plan. It's by Jalen Lewis, Miranda Gott, Alex Fuller, Riley Evans. Okay, we all focus on the main driving question, which was how can Wado recover from a natural disaster? We have multiple resources for water, food, and clothing. Like, we have local food banks for more food, and we also have American Red Cross. Resources for power outages. For power outages, contact URDC. SWEPCO will also help. <coughs> Resources for shelter. Set up shelters in high school gyms, churches, or other high capacity buildings in a safe zone. Resources for the pets. You can send them to county animal shelters in Gregg, Rusk, Upshur, and Harrison counties. You can also send them to an environmental center, and you can also send them to a, a, a relative's house in the path that's not in the path of danger. This dog is only one of many animals that will be in a path of danger during a break. Resources for the disabled. Give them all the care and help they need during and after the recovery of the tornado. You can also send them to a special hospital if injured called No More Fallen Angels in Houston, Texas. And always remember disabilities, disabilities are gifts. Resources for the injured. Contact EMC as soon as possible if any medical help is needed. If for some reason ETMC is not available, then contact Good Shepherd, or it is not available, then contact e Shepherd Medical Center. If any help is needed with funds, ask the state for help. And these are our sources. Is there any questions? Thank you for your time.